Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2002 Lexus IS200. And today's review has taken place at s and Motors Volkswagen, situated in Donegal Town, County Donegal. For all contact information regards this dealership, please see the description box below. And today's review, we're going to be looking at the interior of the car. I'll explain how all the features work. We'll start up, look at the engine, forward performance data, and take a look around the exterior. So, let's begin. Cloth inserts in the door panel, as well as soft touch material. Four electric windows, the driver's side being fully automatic. It also has power folding and adjustable exterior mirrors. So let's power on the car. Fires right up. This Lexus has 98,323 kilometers on the odometer. Comes with a CD radio as standard. This one's a JVC. Got all your preset stations down here, as well as your eject button for the CD player. And to turn off the radio, just hold in this red button. Comes with air conditioning and climate control as well as a digital clock up here. Handy storage pocket down here, good and deep. You also got two controls down here. This one turns off your traction control and this one uh, sets the car up basically for driving in winter, such as snow and ice. Gives the tires better grip, for example. If I just press snow there, you can see it comes up there. And if I press the traction control button, it comes up down there in the bottom left. It also has a manual tilt steering wheel. Just pull on this lever here and you can raise and lower the steering wheel until you get your desired position. It also has automatic headlights. This car comes with a 6 speed manual transmission. There's also an automatic available. This little plaque down here is all the gears written on it. You can gauge reverse all the way over to the left and up. It's got an ashtray down here as well as your cigarette lighter. Soft touch brake. Two cup holders, as well as another storage area down here, also padded. It's got a manual dimming interior mirror. You also got your interior illumination, as well as your vanity mirrors, also illuminated. It's also got a soft touch sports steering wheel, as well as the sporty thumb grips and perforations. The bucket seats are also quite comfortable and supportive. It's a very spacious car in the front. So let's take a look at the back seats. Legroom is a little tight, so it is, but it's not too bad. I suppose the driver's seat has been moved back a little bit in this car. The headroom is quite good as well. It does have a centre seat here, but as you can clearly see by the transmission tunnel, not many people could sit here because there would be pretty much no leg room to spare. It does have a centre armrest located in here, as well as adjustable headrests. Very good rear visibility. So it's an ashtray. So let's turn on the hazards, as well as the headlights, front fog lights, press this button here for the rear fogs, automatic driver's side window, and we'll take a look around the exterior. It has a very nice orange exterior, don't know the actual colour itself. The previous owner fitted it with 17 inch 10 spoke e-racing alloy wheels. It's actually quite nice in this car. The IS200 is also very popular amongst people who do everything because it's actually very easy to get the tail out of this car and so it's really easy to slide. 
side. There's quite a very popular car for that. If you actually look up on YouTube, uh, go through a few videos, you will find plenty of these cars drifting around. This car is also known as the Toyota Altezza. Looks the exact same as it. The only real difference is that it's basically the same car with a different badge. I believe the last year for these cars was 2004. Production started in 1998. That's manual adjusting seats, same controls, driver and passenger side. Also has a decent sized deep glove box, which is actually padded as well. Boot release is located down here, as is the fuel filler cap release. Booting this car is a little dirty, so it is. This hasn't actually been cleaned yet, but even so, it's pretty good in size. But if anyone wants any everyday items you wish back here. Also the clocks itself, as you can see there's three dials in the center. The one at the bottom shows your MPG, the one in the middle there is the voltometer for the battery and the one up top is the uh, oil temperature. So let's see how the Lexus sounds. So about four and a half thousand RPM. Looks a pretty nice sound. release. The Lexus has a 2 litre 6 cylinder engine. It produces 153 brake horsepower and has an estimated top speed of 134 miles per hour. It also produces 144 torques and produces about 29 miles to the gallon. So we'll just finish up the review now. The IS200 is actually a very nice car. This one is quite well equipped. It comes with air conditioning, climate control and a very good CD radio. It's also quite spacious and comfortable. The seats are anyway, they're very supportive. It's a very nice family saloon. This is actually kind of two cars. It's a family saloon but as I mentioned earlier it's also a sports car as well because it really does perform when you put your foot down. The aftermarket wheels look quite nice on as well. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this review of the 2002 Lexus IS200. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe and please stay tuned. There will be plenty more videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone.